Hi guys, welcome back to another daily tarot reading with me. I'm Ashley Rose and this is your daily tarot reading for October 1st, 2022. I love the readings at the first of the month because it really does set a tone for what all of October is going to be. If you look back, if you know, come back to this video at the end of October, you can kind of see how that all transpired. It really does just, again, set the tone, bring the energy, and I love it. One is about new beginnings. It's about your authenticity, being in your power, creating a life that is aligned with you, paving your own path to success, being the magician in your life. And if you watched the video yesterday, he popped out. So I love that he was ready. He was like, are you ready to create the life of your dreams? Because it's happening right now. You can handle anything that comes your way. You can find solutions to the challenges that present themselves. We are no longer sitting victim to, again, pain, belief, things in the past, trauma we've been through, things that people are telling us. We are stepping out on our own and we are saying, I deserve it. I am worth it. I have talents and things to share and I am ready to do that. And so I'm excited. Um, I'm dressed all Halloween because it's the beginning of October and it's also second to last day of Mercury retrograde hold on because sometimes in these days on the last couple days is where things can start feeling a little bit more intense but I feel like this one is really loosening up to help us see the importance of where we were going help us seeing this redirection that we were given so that again we can align ourselves with where we want to be because today we have the two of wands and the, the queen of wands. And I love how we had the three of wands yesterday and she even popped up too. Do we understand that we are aligning ourselves with our purpose? Because I feel like if you look back on my videos the past couple months, the amount of wands that have been popping up and even in my own readings, like I have been like the sky is falling and I'll do my own readings and they're like the universe and like everything is going according to plan. It's okay. This is all part of your purpose. This is all part of, you know, what you agreed to come into to experience, to come into this world to experience and the path that you're on. So trust that. Trust that you are where you are for a specific reason. And given like, okay, the last couple months of this year, October, November, December, lots of things are happening. Life-changing things are going to be happening and you're really going to understand why we went through what we did this year. We have eclipse coming, Mars is going retrograde, Saturn's going retrograde, and it's like Mercury retrograde was figuring out the plan and now it's taking the action and really going through with it and seeing it into fruition so that we can stand out on the other side like holy moly, I am a magician. I created everything that I wanted for myself. How, how did I do that? but you did it by trusting and having faith in where you're going. And that's even what the two, that's exactly what they're coming to present us with today. The two of wands is looking out, like we've have, we've created so much already, right? Like even I'll talk, I'll use my own self for experience, like coming to Denver, having this apartment, doing these things, even setting up for Halloween, all part of like my dream. And I'm sitting here in my kingdom, right? That's kind of funny in my apartment. And I'm like, I literally have the world in my hands. I, I get to create this new life and you're feeling the same way. Like we get to have the world in our hands right now with the world is literally our oyster because we are at the beginning of a new process. We are at the beginning of a new chapter and we are being the narrators of that. We are writing this story, right? Nobody else gets to write this story and we are protecting it like it is a baby, right? Like we are not letting it go, but we're looking out into this water. We're looking out into our dreams. We're tuning into our emotions. We're listening to our intuition as a guide. And it's almost like a mirror. It's like a vision as almost like, honestly, the queen of cups could have popped up and it, it would relate to this as well. It's like, we're, we are looking in for this reflection to show us what we want. So I feel like today might be a good day to like intentionally meditate or intentionally journal and connect with yourself on what these things are and rewrite maybe what our future plans are. Because I feel like a lot of us have really coming to the end of so many big cycles, the end of, you know, I know I've been saying it's like so weird that I have so many things this summer, like so many chapters have been just like ending and closing a book. Um, like one went last week I had gone home um, for my funeral and it was for my boss who was like my first boss when I was 15 and I worked as a dishwasher and I worked my way all the way up to bartender and that was the job I had until I got into hair and I started, I started doing hair. And she was super important to me because there was you know, those times of my life were super chaotic. And 
it was really interesting and there you know she helped me through a lot of that so coming home to her coming home and you know saying goodbye and being around those people in that environment it was just this weird full circle moment this thing that I was like I could kind of like release and let go of that old that old thing in my life, I don't know the old thing in my life, but that chapter of my life had really come to a close. That was probably the last time I'd ever, you know, be at her house or be at the restaurant or be around, you know, some of the regulars. I'm not gonna, you know, it, I came back for her. When I would go back or I would go to the, the restaurant, you know, she was a very wonderful, special lady. So it was just this weird, as things have been happening, I'm sorry, I'm getting myself back on track. It's just wild to see all of these chapters clearly closing. And I always like to say in these moments where so many things are ending, it has to mean, and it definitely means that there's so much more that is about to open up. And that's kind of where that isn't kind of, that is where we are right now. We are creating these new things for ourselves to open up this new book, right? So sometimes we might not know, right? Because like for me right now, I had somebody ask me the other day, like, what are your long-term goals? And I was like, oh, I don't know. Colorado has been a long-term goal for a long time. Now I'm here. Now I'm at this point where I'm looking out and I'm creating and I'm thinking intentionally about what do I want in my life? What do I think I would enjoy? Where do I see my purpose leading me? What talents do I want to express and show the world and share? Those are things that we're thinking about right now. And it all has to do with the relationship and the connection that we have with ourselves. Because there's nobody here, there's nobody else here standing in this picture. And even with the Queen of Wands, she's by herself. And I feel like it kind of leads into each other like this. He's looking in out into what he wants to create and future him is looking back on being like, everything's going to be okay. You are exactly where you need to be. Look at you. You've become a leader in your life. You decided to create the life that you saw for yourself. One that was built in happiness. One out of love. One with intention. One that pointed in the direction of what really lights you up. What makes your heart sing. What makes you feel nourished at the end of the day. And you followed that. And there was probably a lot of people that didn't understand the journey that you were on, didn't understand why you were doing things the way that you were or you had things planned the way that you did, but you did, you followed it and you will follow it. I feel like I'm talking in future, but like it's this, I don't know why, but it really does feel like you're, you, have, you have this moment with your higher self today where you can truly connect in deeper ways and that helps you see that this vision of the future. You get, I feel like you're gonna receive an insight today that helps you kind of just find that peace, that clarity that needed, that little extra energy, I mean, again, enthusiasm to move forward, knowing that we're going in the direction of our abundance, we're going in the direction of our success because even here at the bottom, we have this seven of swords and judgment. So it's like these things that have been popping up have been trying, have been happening for a reason to wake us up to what's going on around us. That we've been a little too stuck in our minds and we're not present in our bodies and we needed to wake up to that. We needed this judgment to really kind of stare us in the face, that last little test of how much do you want this life? And moving forward, as we've, right, rise to that occasion, right? Because their hands up to the sky. And I always like to say when judgment comes up, you look up, hands up to the sky, say, I am willing and open to receive any and all blessings that the universe has for me and watch them come in. Because this, ne this new direction we're coming isn't one of conflict, isn't one of turmoil, isn't one of games being played, isn't one of deceit or manipulation or delusion. It's one that's here for your success. It's one that's here that's working with this Queen of Wands, that's working with, I wanna say it's like Alexander the Great, that's allowing yourself to be reborn in a new way that, again, lights you up. There's all these lines here, it's reminding me of like Leo, right? And Leo knows themselves. Leo is the sun, it is the lion, it roars, it is confident and it stands in its power. And that's what we're being asked to do is stand in our power of what we want in our life. So I love that because it really is like, I feel like we just keep getting this message of like, it's okay, <laughs> stand in your power. The point is to stand in your power and get comfortable in your power so that as we move forward, we're not, we don't feel unsure about ourselves. We don't feel uncomfortable in who we are. We know who we are, we know what we want, we know how we're gonna get hit it. And things might change, right? Things are gonna come up, challenges, other stuff is gonna help us be stronger in understanding that. But at the very basis is having the strength and the courage to go after what you really want, being willing to taking that risk. 
and to deepen that relationship, that trust that we have with ourselves. Because ultimately when we do that, we're gonna watch it really like go into everything else around us. So I'm so excited about that. Um, even the Queen of Wands, pay attention to fire signs that might be coming into our life today because when I see you know, kings or queens, it also could be somebody coming into our life to help us on this journey. We might find a teacher, a friend, a parent, uh, you know, it could be even just a stranger passing by and they say something and it really inspires you to maybe move in that direction or you understand something in a different way about yourself. Again, it just, it sparks that creativity to again, point yourself where you're supposed to be. So trust where you're being led. Um, when we add these up, we get three again today. So three is the number for new beginnings, communication, having fun, being social. We're at the end of Mercury Retrograde. So go out and celebrate that. Celebrate, seriously, we need to, intentionally celebrate the good things that are going on in our life because there are so many crazy things happening right now and we can't keep ourselves focused on the negative because that's only going to bring more negative in we have to be able to take a step and acknowledge how far we've come everything that's coming in and all the hard work that we've put in because i guarantee if you were to look back at who you were at the beginning of the year you are nowhere near who you are anymore and you really are stepping into that authentic version of you and i'm just so excited and so proud so I love you guys. That's where I'm going to leave it. I hope you have a great Saturday. Sorry this one was a little longer. Um, Mercury loves to make me talk <laughs> during retrograde. Um, so I hope you have a great day and I will see you guys tomorrow for the Daily Tarot reading.